Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here with a very short class. Um, you see we're about to run out of space, so I'm going to try to get this in really, really quickly. But it's something important I want to talk to you about, and it's from a comment we received from <clears throat> over here in a video. The video was entitled 100% Proof of the Messiah's Second Coming. Um, Y'all go ahead and um, subscribe to our channel. We put out a lot of scriptural classes and that sort of thing. So go ahead and you know subscribe to our channel. Well, let me show you something over here. Watch your ears. Hey y'all, coaching the fight here, coming out of the third testament of the Bible, spiritual son of the second coming out of the Lord with biblical proof that our Messiah has returned. That's right, biblical proof, guys. We're not just going to make anything up. We're not just going to look at some pictures we see on the internet or Fox News or anywhere else like that. We're going to go to the scripture. Y'all talking about the third testament of the Bible. Talking about the second coming of the Lord. All right, you know how we do over here at Hermes Academy, taking it verse by verse. Let's jump right into it. Look at verse 1. He says, I present my... All right, so here's the comment over here or the question over by Jenny S. And the question she has is right here. He said, she says, my question is this. Is there anything in this book that speaks of who Holy Spirit truly is? All right, so this is a very good question. We want to answer this question. But before we jump right into it I want to clear up a little bit and let's come over here and show you who the comforter is, who the Holy Spirit is it's the comforter um, you look in John chapter 14 verse 16 he says I will pray the father and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever now it is this comforter uh, that is the Holy Spirit but you know that really doesn't answer her question in order to answer the question we come back over we see, um, you see right here, she says, this book is because this book and that we're talking about in this video, which is entitled, you know, 100% Proof, <clears throat> um, is the third testament of the Bible. Now, to get to that, we go to this handy dandy link we have here. You can see it's at Jesus-Comes.com. You can, you can write down that address because if you go there, you'll see a... Uh, PDF of the Third Testament of the Bible, a uh, free copy of the uh, the Bible that you could download there. But let me show you something. If you go in and look for the word comforter in here, something unique happens. You, because if you go okay down to the fourth time that this word is actually mentioned in this in this book, what you'll find is that the answer there is is in verse 44 of guess what chapter four of this book chapter 4 of this book verse 44 of the book the fourth time the word comforter is mentioned it says I have manifest my divine thoughts to human spokesmen they have translated my thoughts into human words and phrases to create a spiritual doctrine filled with revelations and perfect teachings he's talking about the word he's talking about the word of God there and you know verse 45 says this is the promised comforter this is that spirit of truth that was announced as coming to tell you everything okay now let's go back up there and look at it in a little little bit closer because I say it's the word of God but let's look at it a little closer he says I have manifested my divine thoughts so the answer is his divine thoughts right I have manifested which manifested means to like bring something to reality to make it the way you can see it you know what I'm saying if I'm if I manifest a cake I actually have to actually go bake the cake you know uh, I have manifested my divine thoughts through human spokesmen talking about people talking about prophets uh, they have translated my thoughts into human words and phrases to create spiritual doctrine so they they basically wrote down what they were what what they were writing down the thoughts that was being translated to them which created a doctrine a doctrine means a teaching if you put together all of his his spiritual um, his scriptural documents what what you learn is that there's there's a pattern to it there's a rhythm to it and what it boils down to is um, 
I want to say obedience, but that's what we have to do. It's more like a, a more like instructions. We obey the instructions. So yeah, it's it's, it's more of a, a way he expects us to do things, a doctrine. He's teaching us his ways through his through his through his scriptures. What is saying there? He says. This is my promised comforter. We learned a few minutes ago, the Holy Spirit and the comforter, same thing. This is the promised comforter. Now, the answer to the question is right there, right? This is the promised comforter. This is that spirit of truth. Now, the spirit of truth, you can look that up in, your, in you know, some places like, you know, and find out that the truth, there's actually a truth, there's an angel of truth. I can't remember his name right now. I don't, don't have time to get it. Don't have the memory to get it. I got to run because I'm about to run out of space. But there's the answer, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Um, Y'all go ahead and check out this book. Um, Let's see. How many minutes are we at? Hermes Academy. Power, patience, continence, and faith. We teach virtue.